There is a sick eye lying in the bed. It has suffered from operation again and again, and its owner has waited for years for organ transplantation. Maybe someday he will be lucky enough to have one, but probably his body will reject it since it's alien. Though the patient has to take anti-rejection drugs during all his life, which is definitely not a happy ending. Then, can we find him a heart that would never be rejected? The answer is yes. Though most cells in our body cannot change, this one type of cell, stem cells, which can become all kinds of cells, which means it can turn into different organs, like a kidney, an eye, a liver, and a heart. Therefore, we can get some stem cells from the patient's body and make him a new healthy heart. Isn't it amazing? However, there are problems. First, the stem cells we can get from the patient's body are limited. Second, their destiny is not certain, which means they may give you a kidney when you want a heart. So, increase the cell number and make them work right is very important. And this is the goal of my study. Then how? Here, ion channels play important roles. Ion channels are the passageways in the cell membrane where ions flow in and out. They regulate cell functions, just like the traffic cops giving directions. He will say like, hi, stem cell, please go this way. And we know it works in many kinds of cells, like fibroblasts, cardiac cells, neural cells, extra. Then, how do they control the stem cells? This is the question I address in my PhD study. I choose my syncoma stem cell and cardiac progenitor cell as my study target which had the hottest star recently, but a great potential in cardiac medicine. I found six dominant ion channels exist in these cells. Then I studied their rules. I found they regulate cell proliferation and also affect the differentiation ability of the stem cells. My study uh, helps to control the behavior and weight of stem cells. Thus, we are definitely promote their clinical application. Billions of people are waiting for organ transplantations in the world. We hope we can eliminate their pain forever someday. Though there's still a long way to go, we are working on it. Thank you.